Even the most relaxing of destinations can quickly become the scariest places in the world at a moment's notice. <laughs> hey Heidi. Hey Heidi, get in the boat. Yep. Heidi is admiring the scenic Key West view when she is caught in the sights of a large white object or perhaps a great white shark. Heidi doesn't waste a precious second getting out of there, not even looking behind her once until she is back on the boat, which very well may have saved her life. As they look out into the water with a newfound horror, they realized how close she was to a real shark encounter. Look. Look out. Look. That would not been fun. So just remember, it doesn't matter where you visit, there is no vacation in the deep sea where you're always considered prey. When a YouTuber named Noah Faddis learns that an old section of his school is haunted, he and his friends grab a camera and check it out. They are making a parody of shows like Ghost Hunters when suddenly their skit is interrupted by running footsteps and knocking on the walls. Like this. <gasps> Noah sprints off to investigate while his friends hang back. Loud noises fill the hallway from all directions, and then everything gets way too quiet. The two remaining friends strain their eyes and hear Noah's twisted voice calling out for them. Okay, we're done. No, 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 let's go. Soon Noah comes around the corner looking vicious and ready for a confrontation. Either this entire video is just a school project, or whatever is down here seems to have claimed Noah for themselves, and I doubt they are giving him back anytime soon. A YouTuber named Tyler Hardy wakes up in the middle of the night, only to find one of his friends standing in the corner with his back turned. Tyler wakes up everyone else and they soon agree that he must be sleepwalking. They're in the middle of laughing at him when they realize, to their horror, that he is not exactly sleeping after all. <laughs> this video is only about half a minute long, so it's hard to tell if he is really possessed or not. That shrieking hiss is definitely a strong indication that he really was, though. Maybe if it was a little longer, we would know for sure. This video could be someone talking gibberish in their sleep, or it could be a possession, as uploader Jron2 seems to think. Listen to this part and tell me if you think she could be speaking an ancient language. Things are not conscious. Oh yeah? What does that mean? Um, sleep. One person in the comments section for this video thinks she might be saying something like, on the other side of the gods in old Latin, whatever that means. If a second person could verify that this is what she said, then maybe we would know if she was possessed or just mumbling. A YouTuber named Spider Ree doesn't really believe in Bloody Mary and decides to take the mirror challenge at 3am. He spins around three times while saying her name. Immediately afterwards, he gets a very distant look and goes down. Spider Ree doesn't move from the ground for over one full minute. When he finally gets to his feet again, he hardly looks the same as before. He slowly turns around and leaves the room in a dreamlike state, with his eyes still closed. If this is a true possession, then exactly how long he stayed possessed for, or what happened next is unclear. A YouTuber named Connor Does Adventure goes exploring a sewer tunnel that's been abandoned in the middle of the desert. They're kind of nervous but also in the mood to see something crazy. Little do they know what horrors are about to get caught on camera. It's a long walk to get to the old pipe and they keep stopping because they think they hear something. It's funny. No why you're scaring us. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, it's not funny. That sounds like it could be a frog to me, but maybe not based on what they see next. What? Dude. Oh. <laughs> okay. We're on. Oh. We're on. Dude, we gotta go! An extra creepy creature slowly stands upright in a strange pose that looks vaguely human. Dude. Stupid. Why would you stand? Go 
gotta go, we gotta go! go. It chases them for a while on all fours and then marches straight towards them. <sighs> okay. Dude, he's coming. This is beyond creepy, but it's probably one of their friends in an outfit. Dude, do you think he can get past these gates right here? Oh, yeah, dude, look, there's an entrance right there. That's how we... Oh, shoot. Ready? Go! Oh, my gosh! After all, stopping a second time to turn around and record some more doesn't seem realistic. I think most people would be out of there and never look back. Something is haunting the lobby of England's Brighton Museum, according to those who work there. This creepy moment, caught on CCTV video at 3am, could be the paranormal proof they need to be taken seriously. The camera captures a bright light and then a souvenir mysteriously falls to the ground with no one near. Kind of like a ghost moved the object employees would later say. I think the quote unquote mysterious light could be a glass object reflecting light as it falls over. Maybe the shelf is a little unlevel. Maybe an employee or a visitor put it too close to the edge. I am 50-50 on this one and will be sure to keep an eye out for other paranormal events caught on camera at this possibly haunted museum. A door bell cam video at 3 a.m. has caught some scary moments on tape that people need to see. Watch this and tell me if you think it's real or fake. A ghostly white apparition forms before the camera half a minute before 3 a.m. It looks pretty good at first, but then it kind of looks less real the longer you look at it. If I saw this phantom-like figure outside of my house at 3 a.m. like the uploader says they did, I would be absolutely terrified. A street cam video from Papua New Guinea has caught something really bizarre on tape that I wanted to get your opinion on. A pale apparition appears to form under a street signal, and what it does next leaves government workers speechless. <laughs> This ghost sighting could be a trick of the light. You can see the headlights of an approaching vehicle at 12 seconds right when the ghost supposedly flies up into the air. What they think is a ghost could be an optical illusion caused by rays of light bending towards the camera on a rainy day. YouTuber from India called Explore Dark goes on a paranormal investigation at an abandoned house that's beyond creepy and also beyond haunted. Nothing happens for a full 11 minutes until they clear the first floor and find the second floor has been mysteriously blocked off. Stop. After removing the barricade and going upstairs, their paranormal investigation goes majorly wrong. They run to where they last heard the loudest sound and find the room to be empty. The scary moment caught on tape is when the team of would-be ghost hunters finally lose their cool. They run out of the house in record time and are left panting on the street. I don't think they were close enough to this door to reach out and slam it themselves. It almost had to be the work of a ghost. What's this strange light doing here? That's what Michael Oishi wants to know. And so far no one has been able to help him. I personally think this looks like a high powered spotlight because I see a smaller light artifact that seems to generally correspond with its movements, indicating that this is actually part of a beam coming from the bottom of the screen. With that said, I wonder what's off camera casting this long creepy shadow. There's a face in the wall. Can you see it? That's face, you can see a face. 
The eyes are wide and black, and the face is a little more than a tiny frown. Then, after one minute and five seconds, I think I see a hand appear. They say it looks like the face of a girl, but the youngest daughter swears up and down that she had nothing to do with it. She wasn't there last She never went. She never went, no. And when, just for fun, they ask the face on the wall if it is the spirit of someone young or old, they get a weird response. Um, I put a, a light if you're younger. So is this really a spirit, or just an imprint left behind of a child who stuck their face against a dirty wall? After experiencing a slew of paranormal activity at the Randolph County Asylum in Winchester, Indiana, Billy Gerber, a custodian, began recording every shift. One day he is sweeping the basement when this noise fills the room. Do you believe him after watching this? Also, check out how a shadow passes directly over him as soon as the voice says, Help me. It's there for a split second, then gone. This creepy customer is dressed as the Joker in the middle of May. It looks like he is asking for directions or something, maybe for a bathroom, because the lady keeps pointing to somewhere else in the store. The fictional Joker would never waste his time on such a small score, but this one waits until her back is turned and makes a grab for the tip jar on the counter, which looks full. She comes back at the last second, and he just politely smiles to throw off any suspicions. When she leaves again, he looks around nervously at everywhere but the camera as he shoves the tip jar in his pocket and quickly ducks out. This student is doing an intentionally goofy dance down the hall for a Snapchat video when he accidentally captures a moment that simply shouldn't exist. As he finishes up his final move, a girl instantly appears before his outstretched arms. The hall she comes down is completely empty the whole time. He's dancing here at 14 seconds, and the left and right sides of the hall are still empty, and there's no room for the girl to be standing in the middle, yet somehow she just does. So I'm including this video of a military flare demonstration for comparison purposes. Take a look and then tell me, does this look like what William Guy saw? Salem, Massachusetts is considered to be one of the most haunted places in all of the United States due to its lengthy history of hunting witches and the foul spirits they bring. This ghost sighting was posted on Twitter by none other than the mayor of Salem. Eerie is how she describes it. A ghostly face with a furrowed brow and chiseled nose stares back at the mayor with a stern frown. I don't know if this lamppost is of historical significance, but it definitely seems to have become imbued with a spirit of some sort over the years. I doubt the mayor was doing this for attention, since she is already a high-ranking public official and gets enough of that already. If anything, the fact that she is willing to put her political career on the line by claiming that spirits are real shows how much she believes in what she saw. This bizarre home CCTV video reveals a scary moment when a mysterious shadow figure creeps across someone's front yard, moving down into the right and running along the length of their fence. I guess it could be a bug flying by, but the way it comes from around the house and continues through the yard is the same path a person would take on foot. The person who took this video thinks it's probably a shadow figure, and after reviewing the paranormal evidence, I believe him. Here's a vintage ghost video taken back when most people did not know how to edit anything at all. A ghost hunter travels to an abandoned house in Virginia on a road in the woods with no street lights and no neighbors. A CCTV system is set up, which looks old fashioned by today's standards but was state of the art back in 2002 and at 8.13 at night, this pale ghost in the window is caught on camera. The ghost in the window is not the investigator, he's standing behind the camera adjusting it at the time. According to him, this window is seven feet off the ground with no way for anyone to get up there in the first place. 
I was thinking it was a passing car, but he says the street was quiet as always, so maybe it was an apparition after all. A coffee shop in New Jersey, known only as the cafe, is rumored to be quite haunted. This used to be a hardware store long ago, and every day at 3 in the afternoon the old owner is said to still make rounds. A paranormal investigation team sets up a camera to test the rumor out, and sure enough, at 3 in the afternoon this light anomaly plays against the wall. It looks like someone is walking through the room at first, but then again, it could simply be light reflecting off the window of a vehicle driving by. Roughly half an hour later is when a second camera records this chair moving by itself. First it pulls out and then it smoothly goes back into place, like somebody sitting at the table. There are no strings on the legs and no visible shadow on the wall, so I think it could have been a ghost like they say it was. The ghost hunters also claim to have heard footsteps too, but unfortunately the video evidence does not have sound, so there's no way to verify that part of their investigation. This happened in May of 2020. So hopefully we get more potential ghost sightings from this coffee shop in the near future. Four friends are playing Wii Sports late at night, with no one else home and no one expected to join them later. Keep in mind, this is 2008, when recording yourself playing video games without showing the actual screen was normal. Anyway, with their backs turned, a mysterious figure darts past the window unnoticed and unannounced. This strange silhouette is transparent and just kind of appears in the middle of the window out of nowhere, more like a ghost than a person passing by. Or it could be the person in the white shirt's reflection when they leave the frame and bend over, accidentally creating the illusion of someone running past. A YouTuber named Texas Savage has traces of paranormal activity left outside her bedroom door, or so she claims. Look at this part and tell me if you can see what she means, and if you can't see it, it's much more apparent in this next video of hers that I'm about to show. You can see it a bit better here, as she points out the individual fingers and notices the lack of a thumb. Here's one, here's one, and here's one, but there's no thumb. In this next video taken on a different day, you can get a better look at the handprint and see how long the fingers really were, far too big to be on her own. And since she claims to live alone, it can't be anyone else unless someone has been going into her bedroom without her knowing. On this day, she also finds some fresh scratches not too far from where the handprint is. And while inspecting the rest of her house, she finds two new marks at the bottom of her bathroom door that are perfectly aligned, almost like eyes. If you don't think this is real, then what do you think caused this? Just like all of the other markings, she can recall nothing happening in this room to make them appear overnight. A woman has a full-on break from reality while on public transportation. She carries a full conversation with herself in some sort of laughing tone that only she can understand. Then she becomes absolutely overwhelmed with grief before snapping out of it. <laughs> When someone approaches her to offer comfort, she switches back to laughter with a glare. The person wisely keeps their distance and does not come any closer. Next, the woman pulls out a dirty towel with stains and disappears into her own world, apparently laughing again. I really hope she gets the help she needs, because this seems like some sort of mental episode that needs to be treated fast. She and everyone around her are lucky that this didn't escalate to the point where someone had to physically intervene. A YouTuber named Jessie V and her sister Mandy are constantly hearing strange noises coming from the attic. They would have happily never gone up there, if not for their insistent fans who demanded to know the answer. They finally work up enough courage to take a ladder up there. Mandy goes up first and gets a really bad feeling. She's describing the general layout when they catch something that might have followed her back down. 
In a mirror on the wall is the reflection of a figure that is a quarter of the size of Mandy, whose much larger reflection can be seen right beside it. Whatever this is, it's standing right in front of both of them. Jessie turns the camera to reveal her father standing off to the side, but he is way too tall to be it. Also, this figure lacks any color or detail at all. Only later, when a commenter pointed out the creepy shadow person, did they go back and review the video. No answer was ever provided. Will Wilde's Outdoor Adventures is a YouTube channel focusing on interesting hikes through nature trails. This time, Will Wilde is completely alone in the woods when he gets the feeling that he is being watched. His survival instincts tell him to pause and survey his surroundings, a decision that probably saves his life. Watch this part and tell me if you spotted anything before he zooms in because I sure didn't. There's a bear right there. There's no doubt that he would have kept going straight into its clutches if he didn't think to zoom in first. It's standing dead center in the path and looking straight at him, so maybe if it was even waiting in ambush, he turns around instead but that doesn't exactly mean he's safe yet. Bears are notoriously curious and will follow hikers for a long time especially if they are protecting their territory. So now Will has to keep making noises to keep the bear at bay. He is absolutely terrified, but he has to sound as brave as he can as he backpedals down the narrow path while screaming, Hey, bear! As you can see, there is tall vegetation on both sides, and he expects to be a goner at any moment from an unseen angle. Also, one false step could leave him with a twisted ankle and a wild bear steadily approaching. Bear's right out. Hey, bear! The trail even widens into a clearing, and he can see that he is not being followed. I think he took the best course of action considering the circumstances, but let me know what you're supposed to do in that situation and if he made any mistakes. It's after hours at a hardware store when this red balloon floats into view for no reason at all. The store owner doesn't notice anything out of the ordinary. As he makes his way to a shelf to price some items, the balloon stays in place for approximately 15 seconds, which is already weird enough. But then once his back is turned, it steadily moves in his direction and even slowly floats to eye level, where it stays behind him for a long time. When he still doesn't notice, it actually floats around to cut him off. According to the owner, the air conditioning was turned off and there was no draft in the building, so there really should be no way for this balloon to be moved at all. Besides, he doesn't even sell them to begin with and has no idea how one floated into a closed store. A YouTuber named Spunk Flunk recorded this video with the innocent intention of asking people to follow him on Google+. Little did he realize the paranormal moment that he accidentally caught while filming the video. If you look at the doll on the bed at the 29 second mark, you will clearly see that the doll moves its hand to the side and then back down. Um, click add to circles and then just click following. That'd be awesome. It'll only take like a few seconds and that'll get me to 1000 followers. The fact that it moves its hand back down makes me think this video was not done by a string. In addition, most of his recent videos have nothing to do with the paranormal. What do you think caused this bizarre moment? This house is supposedly haunted, and the family room reportedly has the most activity out of anywhere. As you can see in this close-up shot, there is nothing out of the ordinary about this mirror at all. But once the paranormal investigation is underway, a woman's colorless face appears in the upper left quadrant. She is staring directly at the camera with two black holes for eyes, her thin lips and nose clearly visible. As far as I can see, there is nothing in the room that could cast such a strangely vivid reflection. These explorers are checking out a haunted church in Britain called St. Botuf's Church, which is said to be guarded by the spirit of a passed away monk. The weather is fine at first, but within a minute of stepping out of the car, it becomes cloudy and grey. 
as if to signify they do not belong here. Here at 2 minutes and 34 seconds, you can see everyone standing outside as they peruse the cemetery, and it isn't until 2 minutes and 47 seconds that they go inside. With this in mind, tell me how they record this shadow figure. Walk across the church at 2 minutes and 22 seconds, a full 20 seconds before any of them enter. Sylvia Nicholas has a motion sensor camera that turned on momentarily to catch this strange airborne entity as indicated by the green box. Take a look again in slow motion and tell me if this was a spirit orb, a giant speck of dust, a bug or something else altogether. A YouTuber named Sarah Elizabeth brings some friends to search for ghosts at the Columbia State Park in California. When they start hearing weird noises, they think it could be an old water pump turning on, but I'm not so sure. So you tell me what this is. 45 degrees out. So it's pretty cold. What is that sound? Later, they are walking down a historic street when they get a bad feeling about one of the houses. These historic houses are empty, and no one has lived in them for quite some time. Check out the curtains here at the 10 minute mark. Notice how they are pretty much closed. Now look again and 15 seconds later, you'll see they do appear to be open much wider this time. Doesn't that curtain look like it's moving? Over there? Finally, as they look out onto the old creepy street, their camera picks up this nearby growl. They don't seem to hear it until later, but tell me if you can. Bro is all a student writes after staying on the bus to capture this paranormal activity. Listen to how hard this window snaps shut and tell me how this is even possible with no one around. Afterwards, he claims to see two faces in the window, something which apparently happens often, and I actually see what he means. These are its eyes and here its nose. The rest of its face is hidden from view because it's peeking in. Same with the window beside it. A YouTuber named Sanjay Key Angel is traveling the countryside in India when he comes across a phantom figure dressed in an all white shroud that completely covers its face. It pays them absolutely no attention as it crosses the road with no lantern in hand. Moments ago, it was wandering in complete darkness, yet it moves as though it had somewhere else to be. How it's able to find its bearings in total darkness, with its face covered, is beyond me. Listen to this part and translate if you speak the language so that we all know what they were thinking at the time. Also, tell me whether or not they sound like they are really scared. Also, tell me whether or not they sound like they really are scared or just acting. <laughs> A YouTuber named Sammy Pena is waiting in the car alone when a total stranger walks up and tries to open all of her doors. I think this is far from an honest mistake because listen to how hard he pulls on the handle. He was really hoping that someone didn't shut their door all the way. But the real giveaway is how he doesn't even try to unlock the driver's door. He probably knows from experience that this door is almost always locked and not worth bothering with. Between her tinted windows and sunglasses, he seems not to notice anyone's in the back seat at all. He casually walks away empty handed, at least until someone forgets to lock their doors. These strange sounds in the sky have never been properly explained. I found no less than 5 different incidents of the exact same grinding and humming metal on metal noise. Sometimes it comes from far away, like this one from Germany. And sometimes it echoes throughout the whole city, like this one from France. And sometimes it sounds like it's breaking directly overhead, like this one from Edmonton, Canada.
but out of all of them, this recording from an unknown Spanish-speaking country is the clearest. These people are from around the world and obviously can't all know each other. Yet each video is recorded between 2015 and 2016. I don't know if this is a warning, an experiment, or what, but I'm worried that one day we will find out. A London YouTuber named King of Bongo is trying to explore the Queen's Hotel while staying one step ahead of a security guard. Down one of the dirty halls is a formation that King of Bongo suspects could be the Grim Reaper himself. It looks like it's sitting down facing him with its skeletal hands folded patiently across its lap. But here at 2 minutes and 14 seconds, I feel like it could be an illustration caused by three objects stacked together, maybe chairs. He hurries down three flights of steps and is searching for an exit when he hears this mystery noise coming from a few rooms over. You and I both heard something near, but a quick glance reveals only these empty rooms. King of Bongos finally meets up with his friend and explains that they are being followed. They hear footsteps that are very light and moving at a good pace towards them. Wait, there's someone else in here. There's someone else in here. Go. Just go. Here's the thing though, a security guard would probably announce themselves and ask if anyone was there. That never happened, so was it the security guard or was it whatever it was that he thought he saw down the hall? A person cautiously follows a winding road at night using only the light on their phone to guide them. They sense danger on the right and look over. Nothing is there, but their feeling of being watched does not go away. So they look over again, and that's when they make contact. A short creature with a portly body, atop long legs, does its best to escape the flashlight. At 1 minute and 36 seconds, we see that the overall grey colouring of the creature, when under the light, does match the rest of the background remarkably well. There's no obvious blurring around the edges of the creature either, which indicates that this may in fact be authentic, unedited footage. A YouTuber named Rata Negra Mago is positive that his house is haunted, and he claims to have the evidence to back it up. The kid's toy moves across the table and I don't see a string. Then a bottle falls off the table. There are no shadows coming from the other room when it happens. No one is around. And right before it happens, this strange traveling light appears. Hmm, looks paranormal to me. Four days later, he catches this object moving all by itself. This one I find a little harder to believe because I feel like it's definitely in their grandma's line of sight. I mean, how could you miss a bright green reflective bag doing 360s for almost a full minute is beyond me. She must have been fully absorbed in her show. I have my doubts about this one, but at the same time I don't know how they're doing it so maybe it's real. This final video taken almost a year later is perhaps the oddest of all. This hanging ornament begins moving in place with nothing to help get it started. Yes, it's by an open window but there's no wind. The leaves on this plant don't move and neither does this towel hanging over a chair. And it's not the air conditioner either because this connected red string doesn't move at all. And if you're still not convinced, take a listen. <laughs> At 1 minute and 20 seconds, this phantom light reflects across the stereo glass, though to be fair, it could just be a member of the family. Something strange happens every night in the room of a YouTuber named Sumi, and it happens at 3 a.m. The door looks fully shut with the latch in place, so that means somehow the door opens without the knob turning and then continues to open with nobody on the other side. It's a lightweight door, but even if the house was built on a slope or something, 
I don't think it would open that easily. Plus, if this really does happen at 3 a.m., like Sumi claims, then there's just no question in my mind that A, their whole house is haunted, and B, it's time to install a law. Urban explorer Steve Ronan is exploring a town by a lake that was opened in the 1950s and had a very dark history. They had an entire arena where dogs were forced to do horrible things and had multiple passings in the town under strange circumstances. It has since been abandoned and is now considered a ghost town with paranormal energy. Steve explores the area with some locals who show him around. While the entire exploration has some seriously creepy vibes, there's two parts in particular that are especially frightening. At 12 minutes and 20 seconds, Steve says he caught a demon on camera. Do you see it here? Right here. Yeah. Is, uh... And again at 31 minutes and 20 seconds, Steve says more paranormal activity is caught on tape here. See what this? What the f Even this mirror over here. You can see the reflection of the door and my flashlight, but you can't even see me. Overall, I would stay far away from that ghost town. A Russian YouTuber named Fickfoss decides to feed a bear a late night fish snack through his window. There's only one problem. Supplies are limited and the bear seems to want to help itself to everything at once. Multiple times it has to be reminded to mind its manners. And at 24 seconds you can see for yourself that I'm not exaggerating when I say its paw is the size of your head with long black claws the size of your whole finger. Feeding time becomes less fun when you realize the only way to close this window is by reaching out into the darkness past the hungry bear's mouth to grab the this latch. They wait until it walks away satisfied before closing the window. Thankfully, it didn't try to get in this time, but bears have a long memory, and surely it will be back when it's hungry. Perhaps next time for them if no fish is available. A paranormal investigator from India named Deep Tea Vlog and her ghost hunting crew go exploring what, in their words, is one of the most haunted places in all of Madhya Pradesh. It's a long trek through some scary woods just to get there, and they are also quite sure some creepy things will be caught on camera before the night is through. Oh sh! Boy, how is sh? Oh sh! In the distance, they see a figure walking slowly off the beaten path, and then it just sort of mysteriously disappears into the darkness. All of them run much faster than the figure was moving, but when they get to where they had just had the ghost sighting, they find an empty clearing and nothing more. A research team known as Ghost and Mystery wants to reveal all of the paranormal activity happening in their home country of Bangladesh, of which there is plenty to be found. They go exploring a haunted place in the woods. Everything in the forest seems to wail at them not to go inside. <laughs> and someone tell me why they hear a child's voice while investigating this well. Okay. <laughs> Freaky, right? The same ghost child's voice returns once more after they find a way inside, perhaps to shout a warning. Look again. At 17 minutes, 4 seconds, they briefly pause on a large figure next to a meat hook. That can't be good. One investigator feels overwhelmed by a paranormal feeling, a wave of negative energy if you will, and they need to rest. That's when they chance upon a makeshift stick hut in the woods behind the abandoned house. Wait, I see something really scary inside. <laughs> Their light crosses the glowing eyes of a large figure standing on two legs. It's there for but a moment, and then the unknown creature sighting is no longer caught on camera. 
They end the paranormal exploration shortly after. Paranormal activity was recently caught on video by this family in Pakistan, but I'm not sure if this is a poltergeist or just them throwing things around, so help me decide. Most of the objects come from the corner of the screen and could have been easily thrown by someone off camera. I'm not sure how they made the table come back after it was thrown against the wall, but it doesn't look that heavy so maybe it was on a wire. I guess we'll never know for sure. There is a haunted painting somewhere in this art gallery in Birmingham, UK. The only problem is Ted Whitehall isn't sure which painting it is, so he calls a pastor to hold an exorcism and cleanse every last one of them. Something demonic is determined not to let that happen. Oh, take it from this place. It has no place here, Lord. I cast this out in the name and I bind it in the mighty. An angry ghost keeps slamming the door. It hates whenever the pastor talks about being cast out and keeps doing its best to interrupt him. I cast you out and bind you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Persistent pastor pushes aside his fear and fires off the final words. You can hear the defeated spirit walk away. Cast it into the pit, Lord, and bind it forever. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That could just be somebody off camera walking away, so let's turn our attention towards the chair, which Ted says is made of cast iron. Can anybody tell me if this is really made out of cast iron? If so, it should weigh a ton and be virtually impossible to move. To call this paranormal activity would be an understatement. This is one powerful painting. A while back, we analyzed a scary video posted by this individual, and it seems like his house hasn't gotten any less haunted since then. If anything, the paranormal activity has moved on to his daughter. Let's try to make sense of this scary CCTV footage. Something rolls the ball at her. She rolls the ball back and it stops abruptly like somebody caught it. Please tell me it is a remote control ball because otherwise it looks like their child has attracted a paranormal pal. Or maybe, as unlikely as it sounds, she is manipulating the object somehow. I don't know what this is, but it's really bizarre and I can't stop thinking about it. Better do it just to be safe. Published by Scary Chills G, this short clip was captured in May of 2010. A man is on his computer facing his webcam, when behind him on the bed, his jacket moves. As he turns to look, suddenly his wardrobe bursts open on the other side. He springs from his seat and goes to check it out, seemingly finding nothing. He turns back toward his computer and then sprints from the room in fear without further explanation. What did he see there? Or was he afraid of what saw him? This security guard is just trying to get some sleep. Published by Haunted Video.05 in April of 2022. First, a child's bicycle starts riding by itself on the roadway in front of him. Then, a mysterious figure appears on the roof above. Neither of these things awakens him, but his slumber is soon disturbed by something falling to the ground. The man gets up to replace the item, and the mysterious figure reappears on the roof next to stool floats in midair before slamming to the ground, waking the guard again. He looks around as the figure lurks out of sight on the rooftop. After finding nothing, the guard returns to sleep, while the figure uses her dark magic to lift the stool into the air. 
only to slam it on the ground again. This wakes the guard once more, and he replaces the stool and goes back to sleep, but the figure's next move won't allow it. What is her purpose in not letting this poor guard sleep? Just mischief and mayhem? Or is her true aim to lull him into eternal sleep? Ready to explore one of Ohio's most dangerous abandoned places? Neither am I. Let's leave it up to Urbex Dane, who published this urban exploration of Elderwood in August of 2017. According to Dane, this street is one of the most dangerous areas in this half-abandoned city. Willing to take the risk, he entered an empty building on the creepy abandoned Cleveland Street. While inside, a truck pulls up. The truck starts beeping and is playing music loudly. Still, Urbex continues exploring but peers out a second-story window to see who's there. It's not clear what this dude's purpose is. And that strangeness is turned up a notch when a group enters as Dane continues through the home. Unsure of what to do, he waits. Are these just more urban explorers? Or is something more nefarious going on? He creeps out into the hall, which is empty, as is the stairwell, and yet he doesn't leave. Instead, he heads upstairs. Down another stairwell, he hears this. That's where his battery runs out. Don't worry, he survived, but he doesn't know what was going on or who these strangers were. Many are noting in the comments that this could very well have been dangerous, and he was lucky he got out of there alive. You have phantom co-workers? Well, you're not the only one. Published by David Condoli in February of 2017, this security footage was captured at around 5 in the morning. The video doesn't identify the workplace, but the footage shows a reception area, perhaps of a hotel. A man is sitting at the front desk on a computer when this happens. Maybe it's just a breeze, or so you would think, as the man stares at the piece of paper perplexed. A tree in the corner of the room starts to shake. This prompts the man to jump to his feet in shock. Spooky noise ensues, and this creepy combination sends the man leaping over the counter and fleeing this haunted place. Are his co-workers playing a trick on him? Or are his co-workers ghosts? Either way, he might want to start checking the job ads. What is haunting this forest? Published by Scary Videos in February of 2022, a car is driving across a deserted road at night when the driver spots this. The semi-transparent figure of a young girl in a white dress with long black hair floats past for a moment before zapping into oblivion. Stop, 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 stop. The driver and his passenger stop to get out and have a look, but they find nothing. Was this a true phantom caught on camera? And why is she walking this lonely road? We may never know. There are actual ghosts roaming around this ghost town? Published by Franco TV in April of 2022, this paranormal investigator is exploring an abandoned ghost town. At least he thinks it's abandoned. Franco soon hears movement. Was it something outside or was this a bad omen? Although it seems like the mystery is solved, he later hears an unexplained snap in a dark room of the building. I'm not sure what exactly is causing them. Oh my God. And then he finds this, another bad sign. The spooky sounds don't let up. and Franco concludes that he's not alone. I think there's somebody there. Yeah, hold on, 
Excellent. But later he finds another animal friend who may have been causing all the racket. Hey. Hi. That's good. Was it this cat? Or is there someone else lurking here unseen? Did a spirit just drift out of this possessed doll? Published by Paranormal Nightmares in March of 2022, the uploader writes, My daughter said in the night our cat scratched on her bedroom door. He never does this. We checked security footage and captured this. This video shows a strange gray mass floating out from one of these creepy dolls. It looks like smoke or mist. The cat obviously sees it and soon tears off. Did we just witness a spirit exiting? Whatever it is, it made this guy a scaredy cat. Visit Louisiana and you might just run into a gator or two, or maybe a thousand. Published in January of 2011, Marvin Carter writes, This is something you just don't see every day. Carter says this video was sent to him from the mouth of the Mississippi by one of his friends. What you're about to see will make your skin crawl. At first, the river looks normal with dozens of rocks jutting out of it. But when the camera zooms in, you realize those aren't rocks. Then, even more horrifyingly, this little speedboat starts its journey through the sea of alligators. They're all moving about, but the good news is, it looks like they're just trying to get out of the way, not start trouble. While well, many in the comments agree that this is terrifying, most also suggest that gators generally don't mess with you. Still, this scary video desperately needs an explanation, and commenter canoeing the edge of the world seems to have one. He writes, For some reason, alligators just decide every once in a while to have a little get-together, and they bring the whole family. I think I'll skip this reunion. According to Steve, this area is infamous as the site in which a person who is taking people's lives during the 1950s hid the bodies and he may have lived in this abandoned home nearby, hidden in the woods. Published by Steve Ronan in April of 2020, the crew quickly comes across some unsavory items. This is an arrangement of bird skulls. Later, they find another piece of animal anatomy. What type of animal is this spine from, and why is it here? I'm starting to wonder if Norman Bates lived here. One last creepy thing they come across are these little figurines. A skeleton in what looks to be Gollum. Is this actually the house of this 1950s maniac? Why were all these possessions left behind? And what is up with the bird skull trophies? I'd be staying far away from this house. That's creepy. So just birds, huh? I... Bird skulls, or maybe mouse skulls? No, I think it's a, like a rodent. Yeah. Like a family of rodents, but what them right here like this? I have no idea. After a mission to an old haunted railway tunnel, Crypto Girl 13 spied something mysterious in her footage while editing. Published in August of 2013, the Crypto Girl and her friend are navigating through the forest and mud to the mouth of the tunnel. After wading through obstacles of sludge and climbing over large branches, they arrive at the entrance. Zooming into the deep darkness, the video starts glitching out as she talks about the story of a monster living in the tunnel. Old story that a, uh, some kind of creature, I think that's some kind of creature. Getting closer to the entrance, they hear some creepy noises inside. But it was upon editing the footage that they spotted these two glowing red orbs, which they believe to be eyes of the legendary monster. Were they closer to the cryptid than they ever imagined, or is there something else inhabiting this old railway tunnel? Since it's been almost 10 years, I don't know if this mystery will ever be solved. Most ghosts don't ask for permission, they just let themselves in. Published in January of 2022, Amitav Paranormal Tech YT writes that during her last live stream, 
her REM pod activated, so she decided to leave some equipment on during the night. She also left her security cameras on. Here's what they captured. The door of the room swings open, apparently letting no one in. A light to the side on a table then turns on and blinking can be seen throughout the room. What just let itself in? Is it something to be feared? Either way, it definitely wants itself to be known. Sometimes Ghost Hunters Become the Hunted, published by Yoon Sai Won in April of 2021. That's what happened to this Korean ghost hunter on one of his most recent investigations upon entering the haunted locale he hears a strange noise <laughs> it could be a dog barking in the distance but who knows whatever it is he has a bad feeling <laughs> And that feeling grows when the EMF meter reacts strongly. Despite there being no electricity in the place, using facial recognition software, faces also start to appear around the abandoned place. And they're getting closer by the second. Later, as the ghost hunter is using a spirit box, he hears a loud bump in the night. And then again as he continues his search. <gasps> Is Yoon Sai Wan being stalked? It may be best to call off this ghost hunt. This phantom is ready for high tea. Published in January of 2022, Sylvia C. writes that she was quietly watching TV when her resident ghost startled up the tea kettle. The security footage shows the electric tea kettle in the kitchen, apparently turned on by the spirit. It shuts off and Sylvia enters the kitchen and asks why it put the kettle on. Spirit in the kitchen, what are you trying to tell me? Why did you do that? The spirit answers rudely in response by throwing a pot lid across the kitchen. Some viewers suggest to Sylvia to keep a detailed log of each of the paranormal events she experiences, including the date and time in her response to them. Others suggest having the house blessed to remove the entity. If you were in Sylvia's shoes, what would you do? I'd be looking to move as soon as possible. Do shadows have a life of their own? Posted to the r slash ghosts subreddit, before ever unknown 54's friend captured this strange anomaly on a home security camera. The footage, taken on January 21st, 2022, at around 11 p.m., shows a strange shadow shift in the kitchen with no known source casting its movement. According to the Redditor, there is no window or skylight in the area. The light source you see on the video is from the kitchen light overhead. This is what the kitchen looks like in the daytime. The Redditor writes, the way the shadow seems to float from above the countertop to the ground is just very strange to me. Some in the comments think a cabinet either fell open or shut, but the Redditor notes that, combined with other unexplained events in the home, this seems suspicious. She writes, They've had various things happen over time. There's been orbs, stuff falling over walls, animals reacting to the noises or visuals, etc. Is this just part of the same paranormal trend? The evidence does seem to be mounting. Is this just a smudge in the window? Or is this ghost watching you. Published by Korean channel Lonely Gang in July of 2019, this scary video was originally captured in August of 2013. The footage shows a cameraman walking alongside some abandoned buildings at night. The camera turns down an alleyway when up in the corner of the window. On one of the buildings is a ghostly face staring at him. <laughs> A still shot of the window shows the creepy image up close, and it looks like a semi-transparent young man looking sideways out of the window. What is the identity of this ghost? Any guesses? All I can say is that whoever this is, 
It clearly wants people to stay far away from this building. Does this man have an unwanted paranormal roommate? Published in January of 2021, this individual woke up to door slamming and got up to check it out. The man says this is a frequent occurrence. So my door just slammed again. There's no windows open in the house at all. As he looks around the house, his roommate, Brad, asks if he's the one slamming the door. No. He answers in the negative and continues his search, revealing that only he and Brad are home. After a moment, the table in the middle of the living room floor jerks toward him on its own. Yeah. It wasn't me, man. I didn't even touch it. He watches the table for a bit, while Brad seems completely unconcerned and out of it. The cameraman shows that there are no cords around or attached to the table that he could have tripped over. The only cords are to the Nintendo remote controls, but they are in front of the table. So how did this table move so aggressively? There must be spirits abound in this haunted home. Erwin Saunders enchants us again with these captures of a folkloric woodland creature. Published in October of 2021, Erwin was searching for another creature when he caught this one unexpectedly near a small waterfall. The creature flits quickly into view, too fast to see clearly. It makes a reappearance again later, but it still moves too fast for the human eye. Yeah. Some in the comments note that in slow motion, the creature appeared to have a big head and bat-like wings. What is this thing? Is it truly a folkloric woodland creature? Because that appears to be the case. Give your haunted eyes a rub and take another look. A series of unfortunate events leads us to no answers in this video. The security footage was taken in September of 2015 at around 1 in the morning. The footage appears to be taken outside a shop after some heavy rain. Two men are standing outside, one on the pavement, one at the door. After a moment, something grabs the man standing on the pavement. Water is splashing around like the incident is happening in a puddle. The man falls to the ground and the other man near the door attempts to come to his aid, grabbing his arms. He is pushed back though and runs off toward the door to get help. The man continues to fend off the invisible force before being dragged out of sight. The man returns from inside, looking as though he's on the phone. He searches around for the man and walks toward the water. Then a large figure comes flying at him. It's not clear if it's the man returning to safety or something else. In slow motion, it looks like it's crawling on all fours. It chases the man inside, knocking the door on the way in. A moment later, a mysterious figure in a black cloak exits the building. What is happening here? Who grabbed that man? What gave chase into the building? And who is this cloaked figure? Unfortunately, we are left with no answers, only questions. This video was submitted to the r slash chills narrator subreddit by sailorgirl06. She writes, I'm a single mom. Last year, my son and I were working on his Rube Goldberg machine. I was recording. Second time, I aimed the camera toward the dining room. A face appeared on the microwave. It looks a lot like me and we get goosebumps every time we think about it. The face can be seen two seconds from the end on the turquoise microwave in the back. Can you see what she's talking about? I'll slow down the footage here for a second look. Can you see it? If so, then I think this place is haunted. This creepy selfie photo bomb is making my skin crawl. Posted on TikTok by WINIRGTA, this woman is taking a selfie in the mirror when something freaky enters the picture. A small toddler sized figure toddles past behind the woman but does not reappear on the other side of her. 
The figure moves fast and looks to be a slightly grayish tinge. Is this just the woman's younger sibling making an unexpected cameo? Or does she have a supernatural elf on her hands? Something in this pizzeria has had enough. Posted to TikTok by Flaming Belladonna 3. This short clip shows what happens when you anger the pizza gods. The clip shows several workers standing around in the kitchen on a pizza belt to the right. A pizza flipper and a slicer are sitting on the top belt. As the girls chat, the slicer suddenly shoots off the shelf and knocks one of them in the head. How in the world could this happen? Some think the workers angered a ghost by putting pineapple on the pizza. Others, like Jonathan Zwar, suggest that the slicer was on the conveyor and probably was pushing against the metal lip, causing it to be propelled when the tension released. Many in the comments, however, would rather focus on the danger of that slicer. The 509 Grim Knight writes, That could have easily been in Final Destination. So now that all the facts are in, what do you think? Is this an angry pizza ghost or an angry conveyor belt? Thank you so much for getting me to 10,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 20,000 subscribers next. Thank you.